Hi, I'm Brian Backus, Service Manager for MP Systems. Today we'll be going over how to properly install an MP Systems high pressure coolant system. For parts, service, and shipping, please contact MP Team. Before performing this installation, you must know how to turn on through spindle coolant. Locating the appropriate contactor. With the help of an operator at the front of the machine, open up the electrical cabinet and look for the through spindle contactor. When the operator presses the through spindle coolant button, find the contactor that is moving. Locating the matching motor circuit protector for the contactor. Remove the alarm wire from the matching motor circuit protector. You will know you have removed the correct alarm wire when the machine alarms out and displays the motor overload message on the control. Wiring the alarm circuit. Take the provided cord grip and attach it to an opening in the side of the machine. Find the gray signal cable and thread it through the cord grip, leaving a short length of wire. We supply a jumper plug in case you need to disconnect your high pressure system, but you don't want your machine to alarm out. Fasten the plug to the signal cable using a zip tie so it is always close by. Next we are going to connect the pump to the machine. Attach the signal cables and tighten the connection. We will only be using 4 of these wires. 1 and 9 to turn the pump on, 7 and 8 to tie the alarm circuit in series. Cut off or bundle up any excess wires. Refer to the provided diagram attached to the signal cable to determine wire uses. Take the wire that was removed to test the alarm, connect it to wire number 7 using the provided male and female tabs in the kit. Wire number 8 will go in its place, putting the pump in series with the machine tool's overload alarm. Wiring the signals. On this device, look for 1314, the normally open dry contact. Since there's no wires present here, we can put our wire number 9, which is 24 volts from MP, then wire number 1, which will turn on the pump and port 1. When the contactor pulls in and closes, it will complete the circuit and turn our pump on. Wiring the power. Disconnect the through spindle coolant pump three-phase power wires from the contactor and tuck them away. Find an opening in the side of the machine and attach the provided cord grip. Run the wire through this grip and attach the power connector to the side of the machine. Attach the pump power connector to the machine side connector. Next, hook up the three-phase power wires from the disconnect to the MP circuit breaker. Take the properly sized circuit breaker and find a suitable location to place it on the DIN rail. If there is an available location, we provide a small piece of DIN rail in the kit. Connect MP power wire to the MP circuit breaker. When you strip insulation off the power wire from the MP pump, make sure the ground wire is long enough to attach to the machine ground. Low pressure plumbing. With provided dip tube components from the installation kit, assemble the mounting brackets onto the dip tubes. Identify the clean side of the tank. Find an unused pump cover in the clean side of the tank. Place the dip tubes in the opening and secure them to the side of the tank using the pump cover fasteners. Leave the opening uncovered to visually help identify any inlet condition problems that may occur. Unwrap the provided polywire hose. First, attach one side to the return dip tube and tighten it using the provided hose clamp. Attach the poly wire from the return dip tube to the return fitting on the pump. Attach the second poly wire hose to the inlet and tighten it. 
Attach the poly wire hose from the inlet to the inlet fitting on the pump. Be sure that the poly wire hose lays flat on the ground. High pressure plumbing for mills. Locate the pressure rating on the hose to ensure it is capable of handling 1000 PSI. The machine hose that leads to the spindle is either Dash 6 or Dash 8 JIS. The MP high pressure hose is Dash 8 JIC on both ends. Provided in the kit are couplers allowing to connect the two hoses for both sizes. Disconnect the hose from the pump that turns on when you press the through spindle coolant on button. Remove the through spindle coolant hose and add the correct size coupler provided by MP Systems. Attach it to the provided high pressure hose from MP Systems. Attach the high pressure hose to port 1 on the high pressure coolant system. High pressure plumbing for lathes. Locate the pressure rating on the hose to ensure it's capable of handling 1000 PSI. Remove the hose leading up to the turret and attach to the provided check valve. Attach the high pressure hose leading to port 1. Priming the pump. Make sure there is clean coolant in the reservoir. Remove the side panel of the pump. Turn the prime valve to the open position as seen on the sticker inside of the pump. Allow coolant to flow through till the inlet hose is halfway to three quarters full. Once the inlet hose is full, close the prime valve and turn on the pump. Make sure coolant is coming out of the desired location in the machine. To test the alarm of the MP system pump, turn on the high pressure coolant and turn off both handles on the Y valve on top of the pump. When the tank level goes low enough, the pump and machine will go into alarm. Verify the alarm of the machine, open both valves and hold the enter button on the PLC until the tank fills back up. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. With any other questions, please contact MP Systems.